behalf of all the people of Rotland and Melton, I say simply, thank you, ma'am, and God save the King. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Kinner. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise today on behalf of the people of Aberavon to pay tribute to our late Queen and to send my deepest sympathy and condolences to the royal family at this time of loss and grief. The Queen will always be remembered by our nation and by the world as the epitome of loyalty, humility and grace. She always put service to her country above all else, and we shall never forget her duty-first, no-nonsense approach to everything that she did. Her unique talent lay in her ability to connect with the nation and to reflect our thoughts, our hopes and our fears. She inspired affection and respect, and she was a source of comfort to us all. The last seven decades have been times of seismic political, economic and social change. And throughout these turbulent years, Her Majesty was a beacon of consistency and stability. She never failed to steady the ship. She was the personification of keeping calm and carrying on. Indeed, her leadership during the pandemic was testament to this. In echoing the immortal words made famous by Dame Vera Lynn, we will meet again. She evoked in her typically understated manner the stoic spirit and measured optimism that guided us through that period of crisis and hardship. On behalf of my Aberavon constituents, I thank the Queen for all that she gave to our country and I convey my very best wishes to King Charles as he assumes his new responsibilities and begins writing the next chapter in our national story. Long live the King and long live the Prince and Princess of Wales. Yeah. Marco Lowe. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Her Majesty the Queen has 